Yale the lazy one. Yale was hungry. He was too lazy to hunt or fish for himself. He was always freeloading. He came upon an old woman and her daughter. Yale said, I have traveled all day. I could do with some refreshment. The old woman was kind. She roasted up some chicken. The house was full of every kind of food, all sorts of good things. Yale said to himself, This is a good place to stay for a while. To the old woman, he said, I want to marry your daughter. I am a tireless and skilled worker. The old woman and the daughter agreed. So they were married, and Yale was happy. He lay around taking naps, watching TV, patting his full belly. The old woman and Yale's wife did all the working and cooking. The old woman told Yale, Son-in-law, it is high time that you provide for your wife and myself. Mother-in-law, said Yale, I will leave tomorrow and get a job. I will do this. You women go on cooking and cleaning. Every morning, not too early, Yale took his lunch, and he said, off to work. Every evening, he came back saying, mother-in-law, cook up a big salmon for me because I work so hard. Or he would say, wife, roast me up a big chicken. I need strength to do my work. So he lived like a big chief. Every morning, he went a good distance along the train tracks. There he would lie down, sunning himself and napping. When Yale came home in the evening, he would say something like, Today was a good day at work, or today I got a promotion. Every time the old woman or his wife would ask him, When will you get paid? He would say, Soon, very soon. One day after Yale had gone to work, the old woman told her daughter, I do not trust that husband of yours. Follow his tracks. See what he is doing. Yale's wife did what her mother told her to do. She followed Yale's tracks. She came near the point where Yale was always loafing. She heard him snoring. He was sound asleep. There was no sign of someone being at work. The wife slipped away silently. The evening came as he walked home. Yale whistled and shouted, A hard-working man is coming, a great provider. What have you woman cooked for me? There was no answer. He went inside. The house was empty. His wife and mother-in-law were gone. There was not a scrap of food left. The place had been emptied out. The women had made sure of leaving nothing behind. I guess they caught on to my game, Yale said to himself. I am so hungry. Women can be so mean.